I'm going to run through an example of temperature and pressure correction. Here's the basic formula right here. Temperature and pressure correction is equal to um, 273. This is in units of Kelvin. Um, this T is temperature in Celsius. There's like a one-to-one -one scaling between Celsius and Kelvin. Divided by 295 Kelvin times 760 millimeters of mercury divided by the pressure in millimeters of mercury. So I'm going to rewrite that formula. Um, P T P is equal to 273 plus the temperature divided by 295 times 760. It says units of millimeters of HG divided by the pressure. So I can write millimeters HG. And that's kind of a hidden thing in a lot of this. This temperature has to be in Celsius. And this pressure, at least the way this one's written, has to be in millimeters of mercury. Um, in my example, I'm going to say the temperature is equal to 20.7 degrees Celsius, which is the temperature in my office right now. And the pressure is 759 millimeters millimeters of mercury um, here today in Ann Arbor. So this one's um, pretty simple. You just got to plug the formula in. You got to make sure the temperature is in Celsius and the pressure is in millimeters of HD. So temperature pressure is equal to 273 plus 20.7 divided by 295 times 760 divided by 759 millimeters mercury. The Kelvins will cross out, and then I just have to get my calculator out. So let's do some calculator work here. Um, 273 plus 20.7 equals 295.7 divided by 295 equals, then I got to do the pressure part. That's times 760 divided by 759. Hmm, that's an unusual temperature and pressure correction. 0 0.996. So most of the time when you're doing temperature pressure correction, your number is above one because we're above sea level. You have to um, increase the charge reading on your morning QA device or your chamber to correct it down to um, standard temperature and pressure at sea level. So to me it's unusual that I got 0.996. This would be reducing it. So I'm going to run through the calculation one more time. 273 plus 20.7. I'm going to use that feature. Divided by 295 times 760 divided by 759 equals, oh, I got the same number twice, so that must be correct. 0.996.